What's up my beautiful Libras? Trust your intuition for guiding your eyes to this reading all about what's going down for the full moon in Gemini. So this is covering December 7th through the 11th and full moon in Gemini energy is all about peak clarity. So full moon energy is when things have reached an all time high, right? Manifestations have come to the surface fully. Things are just really moving at a crazy, crazy rate. We're manifesting like crazy. And Gemini is the twins, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde energy. So there's definitely something going on with communication, almost like a back and forth. The moon is kind of highlighting our higher self, our lighter self and our shadow self. So there's definitely a balance in there. Um, full moon and energy is also about reveals and exposures because it's illuminating what's been hiding in the shadows underneath the surface. The, so there's a huge reveal energy, especially with Gemini being the sign of communication. There's a huge energy about secrets, exposures, something just revealing itself to you. So let's see what this means for you in particular, Libra. What's being revealed with the full moon and Gemini? We are manifesting clarity, the ultimate clarity with this reading. What do you have for Libra? Thank you. That one just fell right out. <clears throat> Stand up for yourself. Spotted skunk. Okay, Libra, it don't matter what you smell like, what you look like, who you are. Be yourself. That's what I'm getting. Be yourself amplified. There's an amplification of self energy in here, Libra. The universe is telling you it's time to show up and show out. So that could even mean with this full moon and Gemini energy, this might result in some sort of conflict, verbal conflict. Maybe there's a conflict of visions and the way you're seeing something versus the way someone else is seeing something. I do feel like there's something in here, Libra, about voicing your opinion and not backing down from it, being unapologetic about it which I feel like isn't hard for you, Libra, as you are one of the main signs of communication in addition to Gemini. Give me more for Libra. Tell me more about that stand up for yourself energy for Libra, for the full moon in Gemini. What's that energy about for Libra? So we have Clover, love to see it, number two. Harmonized energy. Tell me more for Libra, for the full moon in Gemini. Take it, snake, and the second one I'm hearing. So we have snake is number seven, and at the top we have the sun, which is 31. Three plus one breaks down to a four. Okay. So we have a lucky energy with the clover, a very fortunate, abundant energy a happy energy with the sun and almost like a sneaky snake energy here envious energy i feel like luck is on your side sun is a very very happy energy it's a bright energy it's a good feeling energy so we've got this really good feeling energy but I, i'm kind of wondering if the snake is in relation to stand up for yourself i do wonder <clears throat> If you have an envious energy following you, Libra, if someone's very envious of either what you've accomplished or the energy that's surrounding you, it's like you have a bright light and someone's not happy about it. It's kind of like I'm getting that energy that when someone describes you, it's almost just like, oh yeah, they're such and such. They're perfect. They get everything they want. It's kind of like that energy that someone's looking at you with. And I'm hearing, sorry about my powers of attraction. Sorry, I'm a super attractor. I feel like that's you, Libra. Like, am I supposed to apologize because I'm a great attractor? <clears throat> we have the three of swords. Ooh, is this an X? I don't know what that is. That's Libra energy coming through, actually. <clears throat> the hermit in reverse, Virgo energy, the king of swords, Aquarius energy. So there's definitely some energy in here, Libra, where there is someone heartbroken. I don't know if this is you. I don't know if this is another person. And then we have the hermit energy, Virgo energy in reverse. Someone's heartbroken and doesn't want to do the work. And why do I feel like it's this other person coming through? King of Swords. Someone's got words for you. I actually feel like this is you with words for this person. You're, you're not taking no shit, Libra. Right? You... 
uh, there's a big guard energy in here with stand up for yourself. It's almost like the universe is on your side. I feel like that's what the clover is about. It's not necessarily just like luck, right? You win the lottery or you win a scratch off or something or find money on the ground. There's almost like this energy of the luck is on your sign, your side, your sign in terms of morals and ethics and integrity and dignity it's like the universe is like you are right libra whatever this is there's someone that doesn't want to do the inner work and i feel like they're projecting that energy onto you and the universe is like y you don't have to feel bad about you know being successful or you know being this person that has it all together libra if you do have it all together like i'm sorry for my success like that doesn't even sound right there's something about being unapologetic about the abundance you've created motherly love yeah this is nurturing energy motherly love is like universal love a mother's love is literally the the love that god has for us so i'm noticing the number six i like to say goddess because i think of god as a woman so six is the number of the lovers in tarot so there's definitely some energy in here about nurturing caressing honing in focusing putting your attention on what you love and i feel like because you've been doing that especially with all these roses around you've been creating this really abundant beautiful life for yourself very loving life sorry libra my camera went out for a second but as i was saying moths are attracted to the flame so there's something about you doing so well that it's almost attracting haters and i feel like the universe is like fuck them haters do you so give me something for libra what does libra need to see through the charms what does libra need to see through the charms so on top of the hermit in reverse that someone who is avoiding shadow work energy we have passion so while this person's over here hating or other people are over here hating, Libra, you are doing you. You're focusing on your abundance, on your creative skills, on your outlet. And I feel like it's paying off. Yeah, we have Sun and Scorpio. This person could be a Scorpio hater just saying, I don't know, maybe that's the energy. Maybe they were hating in Scorpio season. Um, maybe they're Leo with that sun coming out twice. But sun energy is all about happiness, is sh shining and showing who you are. So then Scorpio energy is about death and rebirth. I'm almost getting like there's a big, maybe you like ended the way, maybe you ended things with this person. I was gonna say ended um, like your passion for a moment, but then resurrected it. But that could have been this person's energy. In the 12th house, yeah, that's all about spirituality. I feel like there's something in here about death and rebirth in terms of spirituality. I feel like you've grown spiritually where this person has not. And so they're stuck in this lower vibration talking shit. And I feel like the universe is like, don't feed into it, Libra. Don't feed into that energy because you got so much more going for you. So I hope this resonated. Thank you so much, Libra. And I'm sure I'll talk to you again in another reading very soon.